Hey everybody, GigaWiz with CrazyCoders.com and Elite.so here. Today's just a quick tutorial on how to make what's called a wildcard proxy with Nginx. Um, now, in essence, just a little bit of a backstory. People have been creating proxy servers to bypass the UK's bans on the Pirate Bay using Nginx with the proxy pass. And that's great and wonderful. It works. I'm not going to balk it, but it has its limitations. For example, say for instance you're hosting a Pirate Bay proxy and I want to go to Cat's kick-ass torrents, you don't have it on your server, I can't go to it using your proxy. This solves that. It takes in any domain that the user goes to as long as it's pointed at your server and it will redirect, it will proxy pass out to that domain. The downfall at this point, which I'm still in the process of researching, is that this wildcard proxy server has to be your main server it has to be a dedicated server because if you try and host your own website like if I tried to host elite.so on a, on a wildcard proxy it would just keep looping trying to find itself and it wouldn't work I am working on a fix for that but at this point this is a basic tutorial uh, so the first thing we can do is you're gonna need Nginx installed I don't care how you install it I don't care what system you have it installed on Windows, Mac, Linux doesn't matter uh, I'm gonna be using a CentOS box with Nginx installed from the EP, EPEL source. Um, so you have a little bit of an idea. Uh, we're going to open up terminal here because the SSHN. Okay. So if I change my directory to slash etc slash nginx, you see we have our nginx.conf and we have a directory called conf.d. That's this guy right here. We're going to go into conf.d and we're actually going to remove all the confs, the, the configuration files in here um, because we're not going to need them. We're going to be redirecting wildcard anyway. So just rm tac r f oops rf star so now we're empty now we're going to go nano you know, whatever you want to call it new.conf so now we're going to start out with the code and what we're going to do is we're going to open up our server block now we're going to define our server name and this is where it's it gets a little bit tricky so server name and this is where we start we're going to go i have i think that's a tilde can't remember what the name of that is. Anyway, I got tilde carrot www dot. Oh, hold on. Parenthesis www backslash dot closing parenthesis question mark opening parenthesis question mark dom less than domain greater than dot plus closing parenthesis dollar sign semicolon. That defines your server name to be a wild card. Um, so basically, we're just saying whether or not it has www. We want this right here, whatever domain we went to, we want to put it into a variable. So now we're going to go in and we're going to open up our location block. I think I spelled location right. L O C A T I O N. Yeah, I spelled that right. Okay. In the location block, first we're going to put a resolver. Because sometimes if if you don't put a resolver there, it, it has issues and it won't send you to the right site. So we're just going to use Google's resolver by default, just because you know Google's boss like that. <laughs> uh, oh, I've got semicolon. Now that I have the semicolon there, next we're going to add a new variable. We're going to call it target. So set dollar sign target, and this is we're going to put dollar sign scheme colon slash slash. Now that puts in HTTP or HTTPS depending on which one the user is trying to access. After that we're going to put in dollar sign domain and a semicolon. Now that we've got that in there, the last thing we're going to do is we've got to set our proxy pass. So we're going to go proxy underscore pass dollar sign target. Now if you're wondering why I didn't just put this stuff, the the, the the stuff in target just right into proxy pass that's because for some reason whenever I grab domain it does not like it and it throws out 502s and 503s so 
adding an extra variable works. Good. Uh, that's actually the code. That's it. Now you're going to control X out of Nano. Press Y to save your changes. And now you're going to restart Nginx. So service Nginx restart. So see, we did something wrong. Invalid number of arguments. Ah, okay, I know what I did wrong. Let's go back into new. It's actually location forward slash and then the opening brace. Now I hit control X, Y, enter, and restart. Okay, so all our tests have passed. Now we can open up a new terminal window because I'm on Mac. We're going to actually sudo this. sudo nano slash etc slash hosts. Enter your password. You come down here and you're going to enter the IP address of your server. In my case, it's a local server. It's 192.168.1.108. And enter a domain that you don't want to proxy pass. And what we can do for testing purposes, if you're in the UK, you can actually test out the Pirate Bay. Um, if you're in the United States, you can think of a, a domain that's blocked for you and test it. Go ahead. Uh, pretty much just a blocked domain. In my case, I don't have a blocked domain. So I'm going to do something entirely different. We're going to go. Uh, I'm going to redirect my own site. Of course, you always got to add the www in there. Control X Y Enter. Okay. Now, if I open up a new tab, you go to the website. It's going to go a little bit slow, but it loads. Now, if you really want to actually test, you know that it's actually redirecting you properly, you know, you don't know, maybe it's, you see it and you're actually seeing the right site, and you're in the U.S. like me, you can go back into your new.conf and hashtag off your proxy pass and put redirect, oops, sorry, return 302 and then cache target. Semicolon, control X, Y, enter, restart engine X, And now it has a redirect loop, which means it keeps trying to redirect to itself. Which means your your thing is working properly. But if you really want to go for it, go for something with a 404. So example, Google, when you, they don't have something, just, oops, <laughs> that would be nice. HTTP colon slash slash google.com slash target. Now if we go to elite.so, if you notice, the requested URL, elite.so, is not found. So that means your redirect is working. And we can just remove that line. It's not needed. Oop. We got that was only a semicolon, right? So now if we get rid of this, this comment line, save it, restart Nginx, and if we reload the website, it'll go back to the website. And that is how you make a wildcard proxy with Nginx. It's very simple, very straightforward. I think the hardest part is learning the wildcards. Um, you can do this for any website you want. Uh, for example, I can change elite.so here to the piratebay.sx. So now if I go to the Pirate Bay, it'll go through my server and then hit Pirate Bay. Um, it's unlimited in its domains. Its only flaw, like I said in the beginning, is that you can't host a main website with the proxy server uh, on the same server. Uh, so this has been another Crazy Coders and Elite.so tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. You know, rate, comment, subscribe, visit it both websites and yeah that, that's about it